Hi people, welcome. I'm going to be doing a advanced training um, on how you can actually set up your PMP with inside WordPress. Um, I'm a member of Elite Academy and it was one of these questions that was brought up actually at one of the members that they were struggling how to actually put this into WordPress. So what I thought is this would be really great actually to go into one of my memberships. Um, and I thought I will show people how to do this. Um, I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? There's probably other ways, but I'm showing you how I do it, all right? Um, and this is the simple method how I actually put it online, okay? So we're going to do is we're going to shrink the screen down. We're going to jump straight into this. Okay, so basically what you need is you need your PMP file. So this is obviously going to be the review of what you've done. Okay, so for the argument, I'm going to be using one of my own. Okay, so I'm going to be using the traffic tree review, which is this one here. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to open up my traffic tree page. And then it says traffic um, tree review. And then what you would do is you would click on the download. All right. <clears throat> This is going to download it to your computer okay so that's the first step now your second step is that you will need to go to your host okay because what you've got to do is your pmp is almost like a site but you need to make sure you host it before you can actually embed it into your wordpress account all right so what i'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to my godaddy I'm going to go to my hosting and it's going to bring up my hosting page okay now this might be something that you might have to find if you've got GoDaddy or if you've got uh, an, another hosting site but the basics are there okay so while I show you on this you should be able to do as well okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the file manager okay and launch it it's going to open up the control panel okay or the, the yeah control panel and then you want to click on public html and then you want to click on upload and then what you want to do is you want to add in your file okay so if we go here uh this one here download and you'll see that the file that i've just downloaded which is traffic tree review pmp2 okay let's use two and open and now let's added that in all right and what i'm going to do i'm going to use this as a demonstration as well okay so we've done that so traffic tree review to php right so that's the first thing that you need to do all right now we've done that we've actually got our pmp in place all right so what it will be is it will be inside my file manager okay so the next thing you're going to do okay is you want to create a post or well it's actually a page you've got to create a page on side here okay so you can see that I've created one here all okay, right but I'm going to show you exactly how we do this so we're going to start from from scratch all right because it's important and this is what we're going to have this is what it's going to look like when we finished okay so we're going to do this all from scratch right so I'm going to go into my Aaron Brown online I need to be in my admin area, which is this one here. I'm just going to go in through my pretty links link and then I'll go into and go this way. Right, so we're going to go to post. We're going to go to add new. This is going to open up a page. And then what we can do now is we can add. So we're going to put this is traffic tree post awesome traffic in one place right and then I go back love this you should too okay now I don't have to do this what I can do really is I can just put in my code all right so I'm going to put my code in here anyway all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my C panel and I'm going to look for my traffic tree Point two, right because there's obviously I've put loads in here right so let's just go through this and this is where we've just added this in using the public HTML coding so we're gonna look here 
just gonna go through here. So this is traffic tree, traffic tree review, PHP. And it should be here, let's just refresh it. Into HTML. So we're gonna go through again. So it should be two, it should be there. There it is, traffic tree review two, right? Now, there's two things you can do with this, okay? You can right mouse click, okay? And you can click on view. And it's gonna open up this page. And then what you wanna do is grab this page like so. Right mouse click, copy. I think you can probably do right mouse click and if you had it set up, select all, then copy, okay? So that's the other way you can do it. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go back to your WordPress site and just paste that in like so okay and that's it now all right now what you want to do is hit publish and then to test it this is your permalink if you right mouse click on the permalink let's do that again right mouse click on the permalink open link in new tab and you'll see that another link has opened up. You might not be able to see this because I've, sometimes I block this, this block out. But basically what it does is it opens up another browser tab to the right hand side of the browser tab that's already open. And then I will click on this and you can see that now this is hosted and running inside my Darren Brown online traffic tree post awesome traffic in one place, right? Because that's my slug. That's, that's what it will come up with. And then I could post this, I could actually change this, I could adapt this. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be set up um, where it comes up with traffic. And you can see, look, traffic tree post awesome traffic in one place, right? Now, if I wanted to, I could put a page in this, you know, I could change this, I could have, have a nice picture of this. And then it's just going to come up with this, with this thing, right? And then it will have, as always, I have my opt-in page, which is here. And this is where I collect, collect um, subscribers, right? That all stays the same because that's all built into my template. And then also, uh, I have thanks for visiting free gift here. This takes them into my mini chat link. And then obviously, you can go into the other thing I've learned from Darren about Darren Brown, contact us, uh, and so forth. And then you've got the actual review which was the HTML which you just put in. So it's come up here, love this, you should too. You can see this, you didn't really need to put that, you could have just left a blank screen. So where we did this, we could actually take this out. Right mouse click, update. And then if I go back into this, just let this update. And now if I refresh the page, you'll see that this bit word in here, I love this, should disappear. See, it's gone now, right? Just scroll through, it's gone now, okay? So then you've got basically the, all the HTML that you've put in this, right? So you've got attention, this special bonus comes down, we'll have to worry about that. And then this is the bonus page, all right? Which we have actually put a PMP across. So this is a PMP. Now you can put this in the button if you wanted to. You could have your uh, another WordPress dedicated, all right, um, like a like a, a whole page, and then you could just copy your PMP, right? I don't want to get too complex, but you can copy this permalink, and you could have this as your call to action, or this is on your button click, and then it's going to open up your reviews with inside uh, a little bit of an article. You could do an article with a button and then it's gonna open it up. So this page then you see will be more presentable if you do it that way, all right? Because really what I should do is if I'm going to be putting in my reviews like this, I would create a button or I would create probably a page where people can go and see my reviews, but then they have to click another button to bring up each page of the reviews. So hopefully this information is gonna really help you. It's gonna show you exactly now how you're gonna set this up. <clears throat> it's very straightforward. It really depends on, you know, what you're using really. Um, and this, I've, as I said to you before, I've showed you the easiest way that I know of how to set this up. Cheers, hope it's gonna help, cheers.